Welcome back everybody to a new video. I am in Kharkiv in the east of Ukraine so let's go and take a look around Ukraine's second biggest city. Sar experience. Всіх вітаємо в Харкові. Hello everyone. А з другого найбільшого міста України, міста Мільйонника. I'm excited to check out Kharkiv. It's been uh, over a year since my last Kharkiv. So I'm going to go out and explore a little bit and take you with me um, around the city and show you what it's got to offer, especially that great energy from the student nightlife. Okay. So, Kharkiv. You mightn't have heard of it, but it's Ukraine's second biggest city and we're actually really, really close to the Russian border. Uh, it's about 30 kilometers away and in fact I remember Sarah Palin saying I can see Russia from my house and that's certainly true. And you can actually see Russia from land here in Alaska. Багато людей, багато туристів мають неправильно розуміння того, що сюди не треба проїздити через якісь безпекові виклики. Насправді все чудово, все дуже добре. Структури силові адекватно працюють. Громадянське суспільство зробило багато чого на весні 2014 року для того, щоб зберегти Харків мирним, українським сучасним і гостинним до туризму. This was the capital at one point from 1919 to 1934 around was the capital of the Ukrainian Socialist Republic which was in the Soviet Union. So you could say on one level of this used to be the capital of Ukraine but that's a little bit controversial because of course Ukraine was not an independent country at the time it was part of the Soviet Union. Many local people have uh, said to me that uh, Kharkov or Kharkiv has uh, Europe's biggest square or second biggest square and it's called uh, Ploshit uh, Svobodny or Freedom Square but in fact when I looked in Wikipedia it said it was number eight so this is a little bit controversial about that but in any case it's a big square so I'm going to give you a little bit of a look at it right now. Uh, this is apparently according to a lot of people in Kharkov the biggest square in Europe or the second biggest kind of open square or something but in Wikipedia it did tell me that this is Number eight, but in any case, it's massive. Слухайте ту людину, яка скаже вам, що якщо ти заговориш в Харкові українською, хтось тебе там поб'є, це все неправда. You can speak in Ukrainian here. Uh, that's not a problem. Uh, people are open to speaking in both. But you will see and hear primarily Russian in general in the city, especially here in the city center for sure. If you look at my last video from Lviv in Western Ukraine, uh, you're going to see that there uh, definitely Ukrainian is the language to learn for going to that city in particular. A very intellectual city because it's known as the city of universities. Uh, there's just a lot of students here, very young, youthful vibe, and certainly people from Kharkov know how to have fun. Очень много заведений, клубов, в которых очень много девушек. Очень очень можно классно провести время, выпить и насладиться выходными. Можно два меню на английском. Like my grandma did. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So, um, tasty and, um, like, 
you never get you ne you never get this you know hard feeling afterwards for your stomach. And inside it can be anything. I don't know strawberries, blueberries, cherries, mm, um, meat sometimes. Yeah, can be. Well, there are more like for for those who are a sweet tooth. Another story I want to tell you is actually related to Romania and that's because I had a girlfriend from Romania and I remember that one Christmas I went to spend it with her family. Now her mom took out all these old photos from a trip she had taken in the 1980s to at the time the Soviet Union and in that trip she went to places like Moscow of course in Petersburg, uh, Odessa or Odessa on the Black Sea but she, I also spotted a photo from here in Kharkov and I said wow so you've been to Kharkov it's actually of uh, Ploshet uh, Svobodny our uh, Freedom Square over there that she just showed you and she said yeah uh, Kharkov the city where I saw the most beautiful girls of my life and I have to say that things have not changed that much So that is the end of this video from Kharkiv in the east of Ukraine. It's been an incredible few days here, high energy. I hope you get a good taste for what the city has to offer if you decide to travel here. You know, it's got that intellectual vibe. It's gonna be a little bit different to the other cities that I'm gonna be showing you over the summer. I'm gonna off next to Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, then Lviv, the most beautiful city. Gonna fly also to Minsk in Belarus. Then I'm gonna hit Odessa Mama, Odessa on the Black Sea which all, most of you know is my favorite city. So give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. Go and squeeze that red subscription button, whack the notification bell so you get my notifications, and I will see you in the next video. This for Danya, do Ciao. Sar Experience. And if you're interested in learning how to travel uh, better in Eastern Europe and having like, just an amazing uh, experience when you're here you know that you don't have any of the problems that a lot of tourists have when they travel here in terms of like maybe getting scammed or something and also how you can spend your money more wisely and get just an amazing experience because that's what it's like you can really be a baller here I have a new training course you can go and check it out there's actually a free part to it if you sign up below you're gonna see a link in the description. In any case, you should go and check that out. So I look forward to seeing you on my next adventures. It's uh, Dopobachna, which is goodbye in Ukrainian, and Disvedani, which is goodbye in Russian from Kharkiv in Ukraine. Whew.